already see the vibes that's another shorty that i'm talking to she dominican and it's crazy because she don't speak english like she literally barely speak any english so i literally communicate to her about like texting her on google translator we be texting back and forth on google translator communicating with her like i literally took her on a date just now we went out to eat we had some jamaican seafood and we was literally sitting next to each other just using Google Translate to show each other our phone like this, swapping phones so we could see what each other wanted to say. You feel me? It was crazy. It's different though. I never experienced nothing like this. Like, bro, when I tell you guys I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. Like, I was really put in every kind of situation predicament with women, bro. Like, everything. Like, now I'm talking to a woman that don't understand English and I'm making it work. Like, I'm really that nigga. Like, that's top risk. How am I talking to a female that don't understand English and I'm still making it work? Like, we linked up, we were on a date, all that. And she don't even speak English. I'm making that work. She barely speak English. Barely. She only, she only understand the tiny, tiny things. You feel me? But it's crazy because she lived right next to me. She lived right down the hill from me. That's crazy. I seen her on the train. And I seen that ass, bro. And you already know. <laughs> you already know me. Once that lunch hit, it's over. I'm on you. So I went up to her. I got her number. And it was that. And, I, and she don't even speak English. And I still got it. How do that happen? I'm him. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, anyway. Boom. Made it work. You know I'm going to make it make a way. Period. You feel me? She bad as hell. Y'all seen that ass on her. Ridiculous. Dominican, you see that thing on her. Ridiculous. She don't speak no English. <laughs> You know she'll be calling me poppy. I can't wait for that, huh? But yeah, man, she definitely bad as hell. Y'all seen her. Bad. I'm blessed. I really be doing this, bro. And I'm just so grateful to be the person that I am, to be 6'6", handsome, fit. Because I'm telling you, come a long way. The woman love it, man. You feel me? So <laughs> fuck all the other bullshit. People be hating on me, talking about the YouTube channel, saying I'm cringe and all this. But I get beautiful ass, badass woman that these niggas cannot get. You know what I'm saying? They won't even talk to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of, like, bro, I'm different. I'm him, bro. You feel me? It's crazy. Like, I've been doing this shit. I've been doing this shit forever. Forever. Y'all know this. Y'all know my OG subscribers know I've been getting all the baddest women. Forever. Since I've been living in Cali, I've been getting all the bad women. I've been doing this shit forever. It's nothing. It's nothing. And the reason why I get bad women is because I only approach bad women. A lot of people see a, a bad female, they be scared to approach them, they shit on themselves. I go for the baddest woman, in my opinion, I go for the baddest of the baddest, and I approach them. That's why whenever I do pull one, they be bad as hell, because I only go for the bad ones. I never go for average, I never go for ugly. I only go for the baddest ones, in my opinion. You feel me? And not all the time I get their number. Sometimes I get rejected, but you got to expect that, because the woman I talk to is bad as fuck. They ain't nothing but nines and tens, so of course they won't have hella options you feel me so and of course they're gonna be dumb a lot of niggas because they used to niggas talking to them every day because they so bad and that's those are types that i'll go for you feel me so that's all it is i'm always gonna be with a baddie i'm always gonna be with a woman i'm always gonna get ass vagina you know why because i always talk i talk to women i'm not scared to approach women and that's why i'm always gonna have women because i do what 99.9 percent .9 of people don't do that is approach women they're scared they so scared of rejection i don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying yolo nigga but that's that y'all seen the vibes had a good day had some food got some drinks turned the fuck up man you know we doing this shit man i stay with the bad i stay with him you cannot tell me I don't. Go look at the history. It's all on my channel. Most of it. There's a lot more that ain't on it, but they go, go, ahead, go, go, go get what you got. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Be like me, man. Peace.
All right, so what y'all see right here is like my her conversation after our date. That's basically her saying that I'm very handsome and stuff like that. I'm very polite. And I told her she's very beautiful herself. I told her I'm focusing on her. I ain't talking to no other females. And she bad as fuck. Like, you know, and she look right there. She got her own crib. I love women that got their own crib. They got their own shit together. And that ass. And she's Spanish. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That that's take serious material. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, she's basically telling me like, yeah, niggas be talking to her. But she be dubbing them because she... She basically wants something serious. She, she don't just want to be like one night stand and shit. You feel me? So I told her we both on the same page and shit. You feel me? So it's lit. I'm about to set up another date with her for Monday. And yeah, man, that's that. So I told y'all, see how I'm in there? See how I'm in the, in the motherfucking text talking my Spanish and shit? Shout out to Google Translator, man. Gotta love it. Peace.